Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today's episode number 134. I've got four finished objects <laughs> to share with you guys. Uh, three amigurumis and a blanket. And I also have a bag I want to show you, and I don't have any active whips. I have one that I want to, um, to start. <laughs> well, actually, I do technically have an active whip, but it's a pattern I'm designing, so... I'm not going to show it, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I finished up my active whips and now I'm just waiting for, um, other things to pop up, I guess, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and hop in and show you my finished objects. Two of these you've already seen. If you watch my other videos, I had a international or national holiday video come out, I think Monday. That was national coffee day. Yeah, it was Monday. Um, uh, and I had two little amigurumi coffee related amigurumis. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so the first one is this little coffee cup. Again, it's super bright in here. But it's just made with uh, Red Heart Super Saver White, and I think this is Buff. And it's called, um, I think it's called, like, Kathy the Coffee Cup. Because <laughs> um, it has a face on it, on the original, like, pattern. But it's a free pattern. <laughs> I'll link the website below where I got it for free. So I made this for International Coffee Day. Gourmet Coffee Day, I think it was. So, yeah. It's a cute little coffee cup. <laughs> And then uh, the next one is the coffee bean. <laughs> this is a free pattern from stringydingding.com. I'll have that link below too. Uh, you can get the free pattern from just her website or you can also purchase the PDF if you would like. But it's a cute little coffee bean. I didn't have the right color to make like a roasted coffee bean. <laughs> so it's like a lightly roasted one. But uh, it's so cute. It is, uh, this is I Love This Yarn Toasted Almond. And then this dark part is... Uh, Red Heart <laughs> chocolate. So, uh, yeah. Got a little safety eye. Super cute little coffee bean. It's got like a indent on it to make it look like a coffee bean. <laughs> really quick makes. I made those. <clears throat> I think I made those Sunday before Monday. I think so. Because <laughs> I meant to make them sooner and I forgot. And then it just crept up on me. So, uh, my next finished amigurumi uh, is my big cat. It's Mr. Perzalot. And it's a pattern. It's paid for pattern by Crystal at Chronically Crocheting. I was itching. I just got done sewing, so I got fibers everywhere. Uh, she asked me to test this for her, so I did. And now her pattern is live on her Etsy shop. I will have that linked below if you want to check it out. It's only two dollars and fifty cents. But um, I'm not. Ex I'm not extremely happy with my cat. Like he's cute, but I, I wish I had picked different colors because it's not the um, the best colors. But I was working on what I had. <laughs> so here's Mr. Perzalot. He's lumpy. <laughs> But I used, uh, his body is a number five, uh, bulky, and it's, um, I love this yarn, chunky, something berry. I can't remember. It's like, poison, po, I can't remember the color. Wait a minute, I think my ball bands are back here. Let's see if I can find them. <laughs> ah, I spill them. <laughs> I spill them. This is it. Plumberry. I knew it was P word. <laughs> but, uh, and then the tail, the muzzle, and the outer part of the ears is made with Red Heart. Last week, or when I showed it, I said I love this one, but it's Red Heart charcoal. <laughs> it's a really pretty dark gray. The inner ear parts is also, and the nose is uh, Red Heart, but I don't know what the color is. It's, it was a ball that was given to me without a ball band, but it's a really pretty, like, fuchsia y color. I just thought I went good with the gray. <laughs> and then I did crochet eyes because her pattern calls for 30 millimeter safety eyes. And I could have ordered them, but I really don't like ordering stuff. Um, I think I might order some of those soon anyways because I want to make some of the baby Yodas. <laughs> I have people in my life who want those and they take the eye size. And I want to make some more of these cats. So I just made my own eyes. And what I did is I took some blue. It's another red heart. Just like scrap ball. <laughs> um, and I did a few rounds of blue and then I did a round of black. And then I used... Uh, pieces of black and white yarn to stitch on like the eye stuff the pupil I guess and the glint <laughs> glint I ever say that and uh, I just thought they were cute cute uh, nice and then I did stitch on the whiskers but they're kind of hard to see in camera you can see them better in real life uh, because of the color but yeah so that's him I was gonna put him in my Etsy shop but I don't think anyone's gonna want him I don't know I just don't think he's as cute as everybody else's <laughs> Crystals are so cute. She's really cute yarn. And the other crystal made one. Uh, Ricola's Crochet Corner. And who was the other tester? It was me and somebody else. I can't remember. 
<laughs> but um, Crystal did put up a video showing all the cats. But yeah, so there's my cat. I don't know if anyone's going to want to buy him. If anyone's interested, let me know. <laughs> but I, I think he's just kind of... I should have picked better colors. I don't think I picked good enough colors. But now I have way more yarn to choose from. So See, I was trying to stay with using the yarn she called for, which was number five. And I just didn't have any other number five that went with this purple. So I was like, well, I'll hold two yarns, two strands of four together. And I don't have a good purple that went with this purple. <laughs> They were all too bright looking up against it. So I was like, well, gray goes go to purple. And then the pink, I don't know. I just, I wish I'd picked different colors. But he's still cute, I guess. I just, probably, I don't know if anyone's going to want to buy him. I might be stuck with him. <laughs> but if you are interested in him, email me and I'll talk to you about it. <laughs> but, uh, so that's my last amigurumi this week that I finished. I am technically working on one. I'll give you a sneak peek really fast. <laughs> it's gray. This, the color that I'm working with is... I love this yarn. Something. <laughs> I, I don't remember what it's called. It's in the living room. But it's an I love this yarn. But it is an amigurumi that I'm making for February. My February pattern. I'm going to try to put out a pattern every month this year. It's my goal. And uh, this is my February one. So I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> I already got him planned out in my head. I just got to get him made out. <laughs> but yeah. So my last finished object is my heart square blanket. It was originally a dishcloth pattern by Yarnspirations, but then they had on their webs or on their pattern how to make it into a little blanket, just like a little baby size blanket, throw blanket. So I did that. So I made nine of the squares and then I put them all together. And all of it's also red heart yarns. So I'll try to hold it up. But it's three by three squares. And it's got a really nice I like the border. I think the border is really pretty. But the colors are uh, Red Heart, Cherry Red. I can't remember if this is Perfect Pink. I think this is Perfect Pink and then White. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I did do some of the colors differently. The pink um, hearts were supposed to have white around them, but I didn't want that much white on my blanket. I wanted it to be more red and pink. So I just altered it a little bit. And when I was putting these together, let me, let's see here. This is the front technically. I was showing you guys the back. But one of these pink ones. One of the pink squares I put on backwards. Let's see here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is the front. All these squares are facing forward. And this pink one on the bottom is backwards. But no one's going to notice that. No one's going to no one's gonna know that. <laughs> How would they know? No one's going to know. How would they know? <laughs> Yeah, I think it turned out so pretty. Look how pretty it is. It is little. It's kind of, I didn't measure it. I should have measured it. I always forget to do that. <laughs> but um, it's like baby blanket size, I would guess. I would guess it's like 30 something inches by maybe 30 something inches. <laughs> I'll try to remember to measure it eventually. Oh. <laughs> but I think it's so pretty. And I just made it to drape over my couch or chair during Valentine season, which in my house it's Valentine season <laughs> right now. All my other Valentine's decorations are out already. But yeah, it worked out super fast. I kind of procrastinated starting it. I was doing other things. But once I was able to finish up like that test pattern and all that, it just flew. I actually finished this all up yesterday. The last time I showed it to you was the last time I worked on it. And then yesterday I sat down and I finished the whole thing. <laughs> Which was uh, the last three ro rows of each square. These strap parts right here. And then connecting them together and then doing a border around it. And the border is three rounds also, I believe. And I did switch out the colors of the border because I wanted red to be the last color and I wanted white to be this part that pokes through. <laughs> and, um, did I do anything else different? Oh yeah, the pink, all the parts that's pink, I used the eye hook because this red heart pink color is super thinner than regular red heart. Some of the colors are like that. I know uh, the grays are usually like that. These red heart grays are thinner than like red, cherry red. And then all the other, the red and white, I used the H hook. Did I do anything else different? I don't think so. I, just, I love it. I think it turns so cute. It looks cute on our couch because we have a gray couch. Gray-ish. <laughs> it's not super gray anymore because, uh, Jesse, we gotta get a shampooer. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think it's really cute. It is small, but, I mean, it's pretty. You could easily make it ginormous, you know, just make more squares. And there was a difficult part of the pattern, though. They, um, the section of joining the squares together was written very poorly. Or I interpreted it very poorly. <laughs> Because I first started joining it 
along the top and I realized that wasn't right so I had to rip it out and it's they're joined down the sides and they're joined in twos I guess in strips of threes but um because like right here when they cross I just went over it I didn't because it's it kind of looks like a tangled up mess if you're super close to it but um I couldn't understand what they were meaning so I just I just winged it <laughs> but it did give this cute little effect that it was on the picture I kept referring to the photo because the way they had it written out was confusing to me so I just looked at the photo and did what it looked like they did <laughs> so I just went with it and then but I love that border I think that border is so cute and the colors it's just so pretty and on this side you now it's a little bit different one of these sides this side's it's different because the different color squares there so it just it's pretty I don't know I just like it a lot I think it's really pretty <laughs> Yes, and I already washed it. That's why it's so floopy and floppy. And it's way soft. I know a lot of people complain about Red Heart, which irritates me to death. I hate it when people urine snob. Because me, I'm an acrylic person. <laughs> As if you could tell. <laughs> I love making Jesse's play food. <laughs> I've seen that in the uh, other video the other day. There's a corn and a potato. That was over there. <laughs> but anyways, I enjoy using acrylic yarns. And I started, when I first started crocheting, I used... Red Heart Super Savers, what was that one work when I start, first learned how to crochet? They're great for a lot of things. I know some things they're not great for. Like, I probably, well, I don't even know. Because, like, people say, oh, it's so rough, it's so horrible, I don't like the way it feels, blah, 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 blah. But this has been washed and dried. One thing that's awesome about acrylic is you can wash it and dry it. And it's super soft. Like, I've slept with acrylic blankets on my body. I wear acrylic hats and scarves and mittens. I don't know why some people are so yarn snobby. I don't know. It's like they start using wool and then they think they're fancy. <laughs> but I don't like using animal fibers because to me they're real itchy. I cannot use alpaca at all. I'm allergic. And wool, like I can use wool blends like um, like Karen Cakes when there's just like a little bit of wool. Or even like 75% wool and, and under is good with me. But anything that's like super wooly, I don't like. It's too rough. And I don't see why people like wool hats because I had one once that was a wool hat and it super irritated my skin up here like scratched it it felt like so I don't know I don't get why people like yarn snobs so much I get like these pretty hanks that are super wash and fancy but um I don't know I just wish people would quit putting down acrylic because I feel like that would be discouraging to new people because you know new people like me they don't know any better they're just gonna buy yarn and hook and go for it <laughs> but then there's people out there who talk about how horrible red heart is and how itchy it is and stiff it is and how i would never make a garment out of that because it's so horrible and that is discouraging for someone who's just learning or someone who can't afford something better so people just need to watch what they say <laughs> i think people just need to you know think about things before they say it <laughs> because uh it's hurtful like it hurt me i'm a seasoned crocheter i think you know i've been doing it for what 18 years and i'm fairly good at it <laughs> Um, but I was watching a video the other day and if someone I respect, you know, it's a new person to me, but I, I respect them because I, you know, just started watching their videos and they were saying all these horrible things about acrylic yarn. And I was like, man, you're, you're really hurting people because people who are brand new at the craft that could be getting inspired by you might have just gotten super discouraged. So, yeah, just be careful what you say. <laughs> acrylic yarn is perfect. I make all kinds of stuff on acrylic and this is super soft. Like, I would put a baby in this. Jesse's blankets were acrylic when he was a baby. So, yeah. Just wash it. <laughs> and that's that's my tangent. Anyways, I wanted to show you two things. I don't have any whips. I do have an upcoming whip, and it's a pair of mittens. And I was like, go figure. Because all that Bernie stuff, and all the mittens are crazy. I wanted to make mittens, and everybody's going to think I'm making mittens because of those mittens. But it has nothing to do with that. I just want some mittens. <laughs> but, um, I started making the tote bags with pockets. I got two done. <laughs> But here's one of the tote bags. I don't have the snap on it yet. Uh, I just literally sewed these a little while ago. But it's that mermaid print with the handles. And it's going to be hard to show you. I guess it would be easier just to take that liner out. Fluff it. Okay. So the liner's out of the bag. <laughs> I had to put the tags in the bag. Because I forgot to put them on the outside of the bags. <laughs> so all the tags will be on the inside. But I guess you could use it to hold um, a hook or something. But anyways, there's a pocket here. And then there's two hook size pockets. And I put multiple hooks in here to make sure they all fit. The big um, ergonomic ones and my littler hooks, all that, they all fit in there. So yeah, pocket. <laughs> People's been asking for pockets. I made some pockets. 
and these are just my first pockets so you know the next the next set of bags might have different pockets i don't know it's just i develop a style you know after doing it a few times but yeah so i got two of these ones done this mermaid print i just gotta put snaps on them and then tomorrow i gotta sew the rest of them <laughs> there's quite a few i'm hoping to do the shop update on i'm hoping to do it monday what is monday the 25th but it might also be Tuesday. I don't know. I'll let you guys know for sure. And also the next update after this one is going to be drawstring bags. And I'm going to shoot for it to be February 3rd. Because a lot of people ask me to do them around the 3rd. And I understand that because my mom lives off a of monthly check. So I know a lot of people do. But uh, so I'm going to shoot for it to be the 3rd or the 4th of February. And it's going to be drawstring bags. That's the plan. <laughs> There's that. And the last thing I wanted to show you was I went to the thrift store today. And I found this. It's, it's in a zippery bag. <laughs> but it is... Um, is it Pelin? I can't remember. But it's those little beads that go into dolls like um, like Beanie Babies used to have. I don't think they have them anymore. But I, I thought it was cool. It's, I don't know if it's a full package, but it was it was 99 cents for this much. It's an awful lot. And um, so now I'm just going to figure out. I can probably use like um, either plastic bags or like organza bags or something to put these in. To put them in the butts of ambergrimmies so that they sit better <laughs> for the ambergrimmies that are meant to be decorative like if i make a little flower pot uh with like a succulent or something in it this would be good to put in the bottom of that so that it would actually sit instead of like being floppy but uh these will be for only amigurumis that's not meant for children because in the off case that they get it out of there or it spills out or something i don't want kids eating this plastic it is 100 percent polypropylene propylene but yeah i thought that was a pretty good deal because there's a sticker it's 99 cents and when whoever bought it originally it was four dollars I don't know how old this is. The package looks old, but I know sometimes they put uh, old prints on there. But yeah, so I'm just going to leave it sealed up until I'm ready to use it. But I thought it'd be good to make, um, you know, like I have stuff sitting around for uh, decoration. So I thought it'd be cool to put it in decoration type amigurumis and then put it in my Etsy shop. But I, I will always label that it's uh, got these in there and that's not intended for children under, I don't know. I'll have to look up the, does this one here? Probably like under five. Kids that still put stuff in their mouths. Probably like three and under. I don't know. Jesse wasn't a mouth kid. He, he didn't really put anything in his mouth. Uh, I think it says it's non-toxic. I, I don't have anything in here to open it with. Yeah, it says non-toxic and washable. But like, I still don't want my kid eating that, you know. No one wants their kids eating non-toxic stuff. Crowns are non-toxic, but like, don't eat it. <laughs> but anyways. I just thought that was neat. 99 cents. Good deal. But yeah, so that's everything I have to share with you guys today because I don't have any active whips. I will have some whips, maybe, unless I get crazy busy and use them. But anyways, for my mittens, I already, I already have a, I found a pattern I'm going to use. I'll link it below, too. It's called Mrs. Murdoch's Mittens. It's like a basic, just mitten. <laughs> and I'm going to use up here, there's purple and gold, white, and I think there's some gray over here somewhere. It is the Just Yarn, Premier Just Yarn, from... The Dollar Tree. I thought I'd use that because uh, I wanted to. You no, know, it's just dollars. So I want to see if I can make some mittens with it. <laughs> and it's a number four worsted, so I think it'll work good. And that's what the pattern calls for. So yeah, maybe I'll show them next week, and hopefully my new pattern will be ready soon. <laughs> and I think that's everything I have to share with you guys. Oh, I do have one more thing. These little things that was gifted to me recently. What are these called? She told me, and I don't forgot. They go on yarn cakes. So as you as you use them, they're stretchy. They shrink with the cake to hold it, you know, tighter so that it doesn't, like, fall apart. <laughs> I forget what these are called. She, Haley, is, I did a swap with her, and people were asking me where she bought them. She didn't buy them. She made them. And she told me she used to have an Etsy shop where she sold these, and um, it's closed now, but she's thinking about reopening it. So, uh, I will tell you guys. I'll let you guys know if she does reopen. Um, what am I trying to say? Well, her shop is. <laughs> I could probably make some of these. I think it's just jersey material. I don't know how much to sell them for, though. Probably cheap because, I mean, they're just like a little piece of material. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to make one of these. Would anyone be interested in buying these? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> if you guys are interested, I'll try to make some. Make them in different sizes, too, because some of them cakes are ginormous. <laughs> but, yeah. I just want to let you know because a few people ask me that. But, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.